Venn diagrams. A Venn diagram is used usually when we're looking at two or three categories and it involves drawing overlapping circles. So, let's have a look. So if we have two categories, it involves drawing a box and now we're going to need two overlapping circles. Circle. But you should be able to see that circle. I'll just fill it in there. Let's, let's make it a bit bigger. Okay. Now, the middle part where they overlap is where we have an overlap in the categories that we're looking at. We can draw Venn diagrams with three overlapping circles as well. Oops. If something is in neither of the categories, it falls in the outside part here, over the circles but inside the box, if it doesn't fit into any one of these categories. So when we have three circles, let's draw these three. It's going to look something like this, where in here, that's when all three categories overlap, but in here is only when this category and this category overlaps. In here is when this category and this category overlap, and in here is only when this category and this category overlap. And if nothing is in it, all three, it goes in the outside area here. So let's look at an example, just with two categories. So let's have our two categories. We're going to make one of the categories drawing an ace from a deck of cards and one drawing a heart. So we're looking at the same example that we did in compound events. Now over here, we know that there's four hearts, we know there's four aces, sorry, in a deck. So we know there's got to be four things included in this circle, but we know one of those is the ace of hearts. So the ace of hearts is the thing that overlaps both categories. So in here, we have the ace of hearts, and there's only one of them, so we'll put a number one. There are three other hearts. We've got the ace of diamonds, the ace of clubs, and the ace of spades. So there's three aces that are just aces but not a heart. So here is aces that aren't hearts, here is ace of hearts, and here are going to be hearts that aren't aces. So the hearts that are aces are going to be the two of hearts, the three of hearts, the four of hearts, five of hearts, six of hearts, seven of hearts, eight of hearts, nine of hearts, ten of hearts, jack of hearts, queen of hearts, and the king of hearts. And altogether there, there's 12 cards that are hearts, but We've got the extra ace of hearts, so altogether there's 13 hearts, which is correct. We know there's 13 hearts in a deck, and we know there's four aces in a deck. So the three plus one gives us four. Then on the outside is all the other cards. And there's 36 other cards. And altogether, we've got 52 cards. So we can make a little note up there. And drawing a Venn diagram can make things really easy when we have overlapping categories. Because now if I want to have the probability, what's the probability of getting an ace? Well, we look in the ace category, which is this entire circle, and we know there's four out of the total of 52. So we have four out of 52, which can be simplified if we divide both of these by four to get one out of 13. What about the probability of getting a heart? Well, we know we can look in the heart category and know there's 13 hearts. So it's 13 
out of 52. These are both divisible by 13 to simplify our fraction. So we get 1 out of 4. What about the probability that the card is not an ace or not a heart? Well, that's over here. So, because all of these are aces, all of these are hearts, these are everything else. So that probability is going to be 36 out of 52. These are both divisible by 4 to give us 9 out of 13. The probability that it's an ace and a heart, well we know there's only one of those that's an ace and a heart because that's what's in the middle. So that gives us 1 out of 52, which can't be simplified. And finally, what's the probability that it's a heart that's not an ace? Well, all hearts that aren't aces are just over here. And we know there's only 12 of those. So that's 12 out of 52. And they're both divisible by 4 which gives us 3 out of 13. So Venn diagrams are really useful for when we have things that have overlapping um, categories. Mm -hmm.